Before I begin, I want to ask the DJ something. Somebody breaking your house last night? Because since this afternoon, all I hear you playing is one song. We got plenty, plenty songs, but hey, you gotta roll the music. Minister in our midst, Minister Grooms, Mr. Chair, let me thank you for that introduction. I believe that the speakers before me have given you much food for thought, Sophia. We have heard from some young people. And you know that they were not speaking with a script. Nobody write anything and give them to read. They were speaking because they recognized that under the David Granger administration, they can be their own person. They can dream as much as they want. They can dream even of becoming the next president of the It's like coming home, coming home to family. How are we all feeling, family? <laughs> Comrades, now the PPP gone up. We don't got to give them not a doctorate. We don't got to give them a lyric certificate. Because they know the game people $5,000 jersey and a box of cook up without peace. But now they're telling people is a PNU meeting so that the people could come out to the meeting, comrades. But comrades, I want to big up my comrade over there in that corner. When I came here earlier, he had on a kind of reddish shirt. Comrades, and after he felt the love of the AP and UFC people, when I look back, so he got on a green and yellow shirt, comrades. That is what AP and UFC is all about. We want to infect with our love comrades isn't that not so we want everyone to feel our love because we want to build this land that belongs to all of us I know that you are expected like myself to be at work tomorrow morning so I don't plan to be long this evening I will ensure comrades that I bring the facts, the facts, and only the facts. You see, unlike the rat and his cohorts, we don't have to lie. We have so much development and progress to talk about. It can take us the next five years to tell you about all the things AP and UAFC have done, comrades. Comrades. You know that there are some persons in Sophia who came here 35 years ago. Do you know that? There are people in this Sophia who came here 35 years ago. They were farming comrades right here. Many times they will come out you didn't know the mud rat from them, but they used to bring some nice, healthy 
vegetables to sell. And they're still here today. Comrades, in 2011, in 2011, y'all remember when they were commissioning that little well there by what we call jo Josing Entrance? Yeah? Y'all remember when they said the president the coming? Yeah. Enough for y'all, they will. That's why you can't say yes. Yeah. But comrades, we were there. The women were there. We were there waiting on the president. Y'all know who was the president then? Y'all know who was the president then in 2011? Huh? Was a man named Barrett Jagdio. Comrades, and that would have been the very first time he would have set his foot in Sophia. So we were waiting for him. But guess what? He never turned up. He never turned up, comrades. Comrades, could you tell me which PPP president visited Sophia? Hello? Not one PPP president ever visited Sophia, comrades. Comrades, you know who they used to send? They used to send a lady. To them, the session had fire. So we, we said she had calls. She name was Philomena Sahai. Y'all remember that, comrades? Y'all remember how many people she had winding up the court steps? Because she gave you the land, she gave you the land. All is the same land she gave to everybody. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when she used to come and play landlord? That she can take away you land? Because she want to give it to somebody else? Y'all yeah. remember those miserable days, comrades? Yeah. Comrades, no more. No more. We must not. Let that happen again. Comrades. <laughs> oh, Lord. treatment story there where they come and lie and tell me the whole full of suppliers and get water from it. There what y'all presidential candidate said then he was the minister of housing and water and this is what he said he said water treatment is a very expensive formula and in 2006, 25% of the population had access to treated water. He went on to say, this is in 2011, Erfan was telling you that in Sophia. He said today, 45% can now access treated water. And the aim is to have at least 70% of the entire Guyanese population in five years hello remember that was 2011 he said in five years 75 70 percent of Guyanese would benefit from accessing treated water 
You hear lie? Practice lie. Lie. You hear lie? Teacher Percy say if you tell a lie, you go into a hell. Pa, 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 Here the next thing he said. He said another integral piece to be completed is the Commons Lodge well. He said then that the well was activated and in two weeks we will be able to fully activate the complete system and the level of service here at the fire will be improved. Lie? You hear lie? That is lie. You hear lie? Teacher Percy say if you tell a lie, you're going to... Oh, DJ, help me now. Find the song, no more. My brothers and sisters of Sophia, this is the man that wants to be your president. Are you going to allow him to be your president? Are you going to vote for Air Finale? Comrades, in 2011, the man tell the line. 2011, he said within two weeks, and that commissioning took place in July of 2011. Comrades, in 2017, in 2017, the well at Cummins Lodge was commissioned by the APNU AFC government, comrades. Hello! Hello! That man came to us some nine years ago and tell us that he was commissioning a well in two weeks. Imagine what he can come and tell people. Comrades, you see, they didn't care. They couldn't care less that you had to send your children to the block of a water every day. Y'all remember that, comrades? Y'all remember how many babies we lost going to get water, the blocker? Yes. Comrades, but they didn't care. So, comrades, you and I know the truth. We know that the man is a confounded liar. Comrades, we know that we have a choice to make. We have that choice to make on March the 2nd. And make that choice, we must. We can't go back. Just the thought of going back, comrades, makes you be, start to feel nauseous. Just the fact of thinking of those slimy people putting their hands on the coffers of this country again, comrades, got us thinking when again will we see a proper meal? Comrades, we must never, ever allow that to happen for March the 2nd. We have to ensure, comrades, because you see all this meeting and so on. I hope all of y'all register, you know. I hope y'all check y'all names on the list. Because we're wasting time. 
Hello? Your name got to be on the list, family. You got to check for yourself and you got to check for everybody in the household. And then you got to mind everybody in the street business. You got to check for their names too, comrades. And you got to ensure it's spelled correctly. Comrades, I hear the take down the list in Efeel. Hello? Anybody from Efeel here? I hear the take down the list. But we can put it up back, comrades. We can put it up back tomorrow, tomorrow. We can put it up back. Comrades. We have to make that choice. And this is serious business. The speakers before me implore you to make a nice little sexy X and put it in the middle of the box. And you have to ensure that you teach everyone how to do it. We don't want spoiled votes from inside the Sophia and Cummins Lodge and Graham's Hall. And Atlanticville, you all hear what I say? No spoil work. Don't go in there right up on the ballot. But F to who and where to who? Because the last time we had some of those, when you do that, you spoil the ballot, comrades. Same <laughs> down when you're going in the box. Same dog, comrades. Left somebody irie, irie outside. And when you get into that box, you got to focus. What you got to do, comrades? Focus. You got to focus. That's the watchword. Focus, comrades. And put that nice little X there. You got to put it two times. You got to put one at the top next to the palm and the key. And you got to look at the bottom and look for the palm and the key. You put another X there, comrades. Remember to tell our young people they have to vote twice. One time at the top and one time at the bottom, comrades. Comrades, I heard a lot of questions before me speak to infrastructure work. You come vote. <laughs> a lot of persons spoke to the drains and the roads and the bridges. But I want to give you some information so that when you are speaking, when you are speaking, comrades, you can have the facts. You see, we ain't got time to quarrel with empty stomach and empty words. When we talking, we talking the facts. <laughs> Comrades, do you know that in 2017, that this government brought a project to Sophia, I'm talking about Cummins Lodge, so you know, just to Sophia. Just to Sophia to the tune of 1.5 billion dollars. Y'all know that? Y'all know that? I ain't talking about lights, lights and included in it. I ain't talking about schools that are included in it. I ain't talking about the health center that are included. I talking about just the roads and bridges and the drains. 1.5 billion dollars. The PPP ever spend the kind of money here, comrades? Y'all sure? Comrades, when we said we coming in here to look after your roads, and let me tell you, that didn't include Dennis Street, you know, and Red Road. That didn't include that at all. Comrades, we talking about A field, B field, and a part of C field. And so, we decided as a government that we cannot 
not have our people living in Sapphire, where our teachers come from, where our nurses come from, where our doctors come from, where our engineers come from. Comrades, they don't believe they got people as educated as that living in Sapphire, you know. Yes, that's what they believe. They believe that there's only thieves and scoundrels living in Sapphire. Well, I want you all to tell them that I've got thieves living in mansion with poolside too. lights and clap off lights and air condition comrades but they couldn't spend a cent in Sapphire to fix even the roads even the roads so that when somebody took ill that you could have gotten a taxi to come all the way at the back to take them out to the hospital comrades but your presidential candidate I am told that his fence alone costs 50 million dollars, comrades. Imagine that. The fence alone costs 50 million dollars. You know how many roads we could do here with that, comrades? Comrades. Well, if he born rich. Uh oh. Sometimes he's got to talk less. Because if he born rich. Oh, Lord, oh. Mm. Well, I wonder we get all the money from for buy all them properties. Because I hear it's not only the mansion he got. I hear he got mansion in Cummins Lodge too. I hear he got four mansions in Cummins Lodge. Comrades. All right, all right. You see, they got finance ministers here in Sophia. Jordan. All right. I want you all to know, comrades, when we talk about roads, we ain't talking about bringing little loom and throw it. We are talking about asphalt roads, comrades. We are talking about concrete roads, comrades. That is how we value you. Comrades. Comrades. And the counselor want me to know that he doing his work. So you reminded me that when I say roads, I must say roads with sidewalks. All right, council, I've said it. Comrades, and you know what? You are going to get 1,833 meters of asphaltic roads right here in Sapphire. We'll give you the one on We are not giving you a 300. We are giving you 1,833 meters of asphaltic road. Comrades, that is the government that you have voted for. And we have just given you a road, comrades, so that the water can run on the side and seep underneath and break it up in a couple weeks. You know what we are doing? We are putting concrete drains next to the road, comrades. We are putting concrete drains. Comrades, and not only are we doing roads and drains and sidewalks, but you are also getting 8 to, eight to two culverts in this community, comrades. 82 culverts in your community. When we doing it, comrades, we doing it proper. Proper. Fit and proper, comrades. That is what we are doing. Comrades, and we are finished with you. You know all them trenches where you are running down the middle. Eh? After a while, it just seep under the road. is not done so. And your road gonna look like broke up chassis. Huh? So guess what we're doing? We put in 804 meters of revenge 
at those roads, at those trenches, comrades. We're giving you things to last long, comrades. We're giving you not only good thing, we're giving you proper thing. Proper thing. Shake and proper, comrades. Long live David Granger. giving you 10 bridges. Hello? I said 10 bridges. 10 bridges you get in. Comrades, and we talking about them stupid bridge. Them bridge was float away. When the rain fall, comrades, we are giving you concrete bridges, comrades. All for you here in Sophia. And if you think it's only roads and sidewalks, and revetment and gutters we giving you and bridges? No, no, no. We fixing up your play fields, comrades. Hello. We fixing up your play fields, comrades. Let me get a little music. stop the blessings from falling on me. I love you though, my comrade. Comrades, we are finished with Sophia yet? APNU government ain't finished with Sophia yet, comrades. Comrades, you know, we know that Everybody wants to have a house. Isn't that not so? People are not only want a house lot. They would prefer to have a house. Huh? So they could move into something. Take their family in there. Hold this baby, please. Comrades, and that is what your government will give to you. Your president and my president said that he will ensure that every Guyanese have a roof over their head, comrades. We ain't giving you no thing to push your hand and no bag to pull out no pig. Comrades, we giving you a key, comrades. That's the key with a frightened, comrades. Lambert and Broad Street. Yeah. Who would have believed that? Hello? All Who would have believed that? All They're all moving all into a proper all home, all comrades. All they have their own little kajaj, comrades. All proper, all a nice two-bedroom house. We didn't give them a number and tell them go in the bush and find it and build something there, comrades. That is what a caring government does. We ensure that we provide your need, comrades. Stick with the AP and UFC. Stick with the AP and UFC. Don't waste your vote, comrades. Don't waste your vote. I know plenty of you got a letter from housing and you want to know when you're gonna get this land. Hello? We ain't going nowhere. You will have not only land, but you will have a house to Comrades, I'm telling y'all, we just walk, talk the talk and walk the walk, you know. Y'all hear about the adequate housing and urban accessibility program? Y'all hear about that? Good night, darling. 
remember where to put the X, one at the top, one at the bottom. Comrades, well I want to tell you what this program is all about, because many of you in Sophia, you went and you filled that form. Hello, let us elections come and done quickly, we get on with the business. We got plenty work to do as a government. Comrades, comrades, we are going back from that program. We are going to be subsidizing 2,000 housing units, 2,000 housing units. At 500,000 each. Hello? Hello? Let us finish with the voting on March the 2nd so we can get on with building this country, comrades. Comrades, are you think we finish? We ain't finished yet. We are finished. We can build 250 core homes. I want y'all to listen to this. Don't blow nothing or so. Listen carefully. These core homes cost $4 million each. $4 million. But guess what? The 250 families that get that home will only pay $100,000. $3.9 million, comrades. That is why we must vote for him. That is why we must put David Granger back in office on March the 2nd, comrades. Comrades, you could imagine if the rat them win. Y'all think y'all can see any of these houses? All right, because we done ink the contract already, comrades. So we got work to do. We have to ensure that these things come true and that everyone, everyone, everyone receives what is due to them. And I want to tell you what else we have under this program. You know that got plenty of people start the house. I remember some people did promise to help them. And they the self fallen hard times. Y'all remember them? You pass through some of them streets. You see some houses half done. Huh? Some of them people just have to put something around and make it a little living quarters. Huh? And then they have some people in this house. The PPP had us so bad. They can't even fix the step. Front step fall down. Back step, I love you too, baby. Vote AP and UFC love. I love you all, oh, my baby. Comrades, you and I know the suffering that a lot of people have gone through over those last 23 years. You know, y'all think we don't know a lot of things. But you know, we come from down there, we ain't come from up there. We come from down there, we ain't come from up there. And we know 
Some people can't even buy a window, paint a put and fix the window were broken. Huh? Some people never even get to put on a door. Huh? They just dip on a hustle all the time. But it look like if they can never finish this house. Isn't that not so, comrades? They got plenty right there in Sophia, comrades. Comrades, guess what? Guess what? We will be providing up to $500,000 for people to finish the house and do the little repairs and so on. For buy a step, for buy a windows, for buy a doors, fix your floor, for buy a toilet. <laughs> Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation. We will be ready. Comrades, this government is a government who is concerned about its people. And when I say its people, I'm not talking about some people and not the other set of people. This is a government for every single person, comrades, irrespective of how you voted the last time. And I want to say to those persons who did not put their X for APNUFC, this is your chance. Come over, come into the big tent. Let us not waste any more time. Let us move this country forward. Progress for you, progress for me, progress for all of we comrades. That is what the APNU AFC is preaching. Comrades, we know that they tell you all sorts of things. What we can do to you, what we can do to your children, comrades. But you had four and a half years and you have lived in this country in peace and harmony, comrades. In peace and harmony, the only set of people I see quarreling about social cohesion is Barat and the other rats, comrades. You heard from our comrade from the Rupert Muni, and every single thing he told you is true, comrades. You would be so shocked at how they have our indigenous brothers and sisters living before 2015 in those hinterland areas, comrades. But we give God thanks and praise for David and Moses who came in, comrades, and have took progress all the way to our borders, comrades. All the way to our borders. Comrades, it is said that the population in Guyana goes two ways on the scale. It goes with a high number of our elderly people and a high number of our youths. Comrades, and our youths is important to us just as our elderly is important to us, comrades. And I know that they're trying to stray our youths 
away from what is good and proper. They want to tell them how they must get rich quick, even if they got to die fast, comrades. But I want our youths to know that AP and UAFC is preaching to you to eat little and live long, enjoy the good life. You can be whatever you want to be. We will make it happen for you, comrades. Comrades, I want to ask y'all, no president never come in to Sophia under the previous administration. Any first lady ever come in to Sophia? No. Y'all sure? Yes. Y'all sure no first lady never come in to fire? Yes. None other than Mrs. Sandra Granger. She's a champion for our teenage girls. Hello, I said she's a champion for our teenage girls. Especially those left behind by the previous government. Comrades, you remember when they tell you about the child left behind? And tell our children that they don't have to go to school? You don't get put over anyhow, comrades. We know what the demonic chant did. We know how she took away that opportunity from our children so that they can go and have an education, comrades. Comrades, that is wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. And they will pay for it, comrades. They will pay for it, comrades. And when our children didn't go to school, what did they do? They had them recruited by the fake police force. Y'all remember that? The fake police force recruited them. Your son never walk in his life, but next thing you know, you see him riding motorbike and he driving car. Isn't that not so, comrades? And you can't talk too hard because he got enough friends who are going to come and beat you up and so lock you up, put false charges against you, comrades. But we must remember those things because we must never, ever go back there. Never. Comrades, in 2017, our first lady visited. She came in 2016 when she opened the Sophia Teenage Pregnancy Support Group at the Sophia Health Center. You remember that? Comrades, and you know what? She came and she ran several programs in Sophia, comrades. Many of our women benefited from those training programs and they got a certificate which is recognized and they can have a job today comrades put your hands together for our first lady comrades when she came in 2017 she didn't come by herself but she was so proud of the young people in sophia she brought three other first ladies with her Y'all forget that? Yes, she brought three other first ladies with her. And she also brought a former congresswoman from the United States of America. Our first lady did that. She could have taken them anywhere. She could have carried them to Prashanda Gyar, uh, so Bryanville, Kitty, Alberton, Queenstown, and so on. But she brought them where? Where did she bring them? Yes, yeah, she brought the First Lady of Trinidad, Miss Rima Cameron. And she brought the First Lady of Haiti, Miss Martin Joseph. She also brought the First Lady of Belize, Miss Kim Barrow. And then she brought Miss Diane Christensen, the former Congresswoman from the United States of America. 
She brought them to Sophia, comrades. Sophia, big up yourself! <laughs> she said and I quote her the fact that we have come here and these first ladies are interested to know what is going on in Sophia with you and the progress that you are making it should tell you how important we believe you are to the development of our country and how important you are to the development of Sophia. Put your hands together. That is the first lady we want, comrades. Comrades, not only did she come to Sophia, but she has been to every region in this country, empowering women and girls, comrades. And when she's finished, you get a certificate so that you can go out there and get employed. You can be employable, comrades. This is the type of government you want. You want a president with a wife like that, who is interested in the people, who is interested in our young people, comrades. Comrades, and as I said, this government, we have an interest in our people. Y'all remember how long Priya Manik Chan always keeping this workshop and that workshop with some high power lunches and so on and saying how she can stamp out violence how she can look after women who are abused and young girls who are abused comrades lie you hear lie that is lie demonic lie lie you hear lie that's lie comrades we the women in this country, we have spoken at nauseam about our young girls who, because of so many issues, social issues, emotional issues, who find themselves pregnant when they're in schools. And they got plenty in Sophia. Plenty, plenty in Sophia. They didn't go looking for a baby, but they got pregnant. And you know what? They miss the opportunity to educate themselves. Comrades, I spoke so much about this issue in the National Assembly. We went through Indra, she ain't do nothing. We went through Bibi Shadik, she ain't do nothing. We went through Dimanek, she ain't do nothing. Comrades, all we ask them to do is give our young girls a chance to go back to school because it is so unequal and so unfair these girls and get pregnant by themselves and many times they got pregnant for boys in the schools but guess what the boys continue to go to school and the girl got to stay at home and we knew what happened they end up getting another child and another child and another child and that is how poverty persists and spread in our communities. But listen to me, in June 2018, hello, in June 2018, we brought about a new policy, a policy to ensure teenage mothers have the opportunity to go back to school while receiving support at home and in their communities, comrades. Comrades, our girls can now go back to school all because of the APNU AFC government. We believe in second chances. We believe that people must be able to fulfill their purpose in life. And having an education is a very important thing, comrades. It is the key to unlock the door of poverty, comrades. Comrades, and I like what Minister Henry said. She said, as a government, our motto is that every child matters. You hear me? Every child matters. She didn't score for the idea. She didn't feel that it was too much to put these young people back into school. You know what? 
she just went ahead and brought the policy to cabinet and it was passed and i can testify comrades of several young women who went back to school and who have been able to write their cxc and you know what today they are working hello today they're self-sufficient they're taking care of themselves and their children comrades Pick it up for the APNU AFC government! Comrades! Comrades, you heard our president, and you heard him well. He said that he wants to make Guyana an educated country. Comrades, you see when you understand the value of education, you will know that this is the president that we have to have in this country. And comrades, you know what? When we talk about something, we ain't only talking. We just do. We just do. And right here in Sophia, over 250 persons have had the opportunity to go back to night school, free of charge, right here in Sophia. They were able to write the CXC examination, maths and English, agriculture. Comrades, they've been able to write also the information technology. And you know what? Today they are employed. We continue to provide night school all across this country, comrades, so that our people can go back to school Education is important, comrades. That is why we have introduced the breakfast program, comrades, because we want you to send your children to school. And I call upon all the grandfathers and grandmothers, get up in the morning and help your children. Ensure that you give your grandchild the opportunity to go to school. Don't make it an issue, make it a must. Help to drop them off to school. Help to pick them up from school. But school, they must go, comrades. And that is how all of us, we are going to enjoy that good life. Don't let us wait for people come from overseas to take the jobs. Let our sons and daughters walk into those office and say, ha, huh, Maka judge, real paper. Not paper from the University of High Flock. You hear me, comrades? Real paper. Comrades, give them that opportunity. Don't give them the opportunity where they have to go and lie and make fictitious certificates, comrades. And the thing about it, even if the certificates of that gentleman was just fictitious, but do you know who are the two professors that signed that certificate? Do you know? Comrades, one of the professors is the professor of insurance scam. He signed on one side and the other side is signed by the professor of the rice scam, comrades. Imagine that. And this is the person that wants you to vote for them to make them the president of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Will you do that, comrades? Yeah. Comrades, we have to send a clear message to these people. When we put that X, we saying, don't make your eyes pass me. You hear me? We say, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. That ain't gonna happen. We want somebody of integrity. We want somebody who is honest. We want somebody who is decent and upright, comrades. We want David Arthur Granger. Comrades, as we said last week, Sunday, that is who coming as well. It's got to be an APNU vehicle. Put your arms together, man. APNU on the way. Comrades, have you seen in the last 
last four years, how many young people driving the own vehicle? Hello? Hello? Have you seen how many young people driving their own vehicles? Let me tell you, I'm so proud of them. Put your hands together for our young people. Under the last administration, they gave the impression that you had to push some cocaine in order to own your own vehicle, comrades. But in comes David Arthur Granger with his integrity government. Hello? Hello? They have a job that where they're receiving a proper salary. Hello? 70% increase right down to the sweeper cleaner and all getting $70,000 a month, comrades. Comrades, that is progress. That is progress, comrades. And that is why we must give David a chance. We must give David a chance, comrades. And if we had the opportunity to give you another chance, comrades, we must give you another chance, comrades. Comrades, the improvement in your community and the communities across the length and breadth of this country is not a secret. Is not a secret. Imagine these people would laugh when the government putting up back the arch that they took down. Hello? People didn't even know the significance of that, comrades. Our independence that was fought for with blood, sweat, and tears, comrades. These people took down these symbolic things. Comrade, somebody said they went to school long. They didn't do history and social studies. Comrades, that is why you got to send your children to school. Comrades, they were laughing at it. But look how we are so proud. Huh? We know when we enter in our city and we know when we leaving our city, comrades. Put your hands together. How you like we walk over? Bye. Hello, how you like we walk over? Bye. All those years, so many people were dying on the road, on that East Bank Road. So many persons lost their life. So many people got damaged. Some of them can't walk, some of them can't work anymore. But you know what? They didn't care. They couldn't care less, comrades. And you know, sometimes them people will vote for them. When I listen to them, I just got to say, Lord, bind my tongue. Because these people went in power for 23 years. You telling me they didn't know that they got to put an overpass so people can walk? They didn't know, comrades, that we need another road on the East Bank? But soon as we got into government, oh, why they don't build another road? Oh, why they don't do this? Oh, why they ain't doing the terror? Hello? Why didn't men do it? Hello? You were there for 23 years. You didn't do anything. All you were concerned about is Pradoville 1, Pradoville 2, one mansion, two mansion, three mansion, comrades. You weren't concerned about your people. Especially people in Sophia, or I would say in any area that voted solidly for the PNC or APNU. You were not counted, comrades. You were not counted, comrades. But today we have a government who not only do things, but when we do things, we doing it by lips and bones, comrades. When we family coming from the airport and they're coming up the East Bank Road, they got to bend down and watch and say, eh, eh, how you don't tell me y'all go walk over? 
and you got to tell them this is only the beginning because when you come back for the next five, we gonna go fly over. Hello, hello, comrades. I want to wrap up here, but I want to remind you of what we have started across this country, but more so what we have started here in Sophia. We have started to give you your basic needs, comrades. Your right, you have a right to water. You have a right to have proper roads. You have a right to have lights in your streets, comrades. When I stand up from here and I look down Dennis Street, y'all look like Eastern Parkway, comrades. Look at y'all, comrades. Hello, it is your right to have those things. And I want to tell you a little secret, a noise, a Guyanese secret, but I will tell you, comrades, in the next five years, you won't got to run all the way to Georgetown Hospital because we will be building a polyclinic right here, comrades. A polyclinic right here in Sophia. Hello. You don't have to go all the way there. That is a government that you want, comrades. That is the government you must vote for. This clinic, comrades, is not going to just look at your basic needs but is going to have a laboratory so that you can get all your tests done right here in Sophia. You don't have to go to Georgetown Hospital and then come back up, comrades. You're gonna get your ECG, you're gonna get your X-ray, comrades. Hello, everything right here, comrades. And you know what else? Attached to it, you will have your own ambulatory care. So you don't got to call for the ambulance come from Tilsa to come till here, comrades. It would be right here in your community. So 